What is ALS? You may have heard about ALS through the Ice Bucket Challenge, or perhaps you know it as Lou Gehrig's disease, named after the famous baseball player who had ALS. But what is ALS and why does it matter? The full name for ALS is amyotrophic lateral sclerosis, which sounds even more confusing unless you know what the words mean. Lateral sclerosis means that motor neurons, or the nerves that run up and down the spine that control muscle movement, slowly wither and die when people have the disease. Without those nerves to tell the muscles what to do, the muscles become weakened and paralyzed. That weakening of the muscles is what amyotrophic, the A in ALS, stands for. As the nerves stop working and muscles become paralyzed, a person with ALS gradually becomes unable to walk, use their arms, talk, eat, or even breathe without assistance. Eventually, the paralysis leads to the patient's death. Most ALS patients live two to five years after diagnosis, though a few live much longer. Nobody knows what causes ALS and there is still no cure. In a few cases, it is passed down through genetics, but most of the time, there's no family history of the disease. It can affect anyone. In the U.S., an average of 15 new cases of ALS are diagnosed every day, and about 30,000 Americans are currently living with the disease. It's most common in people between 40 and 70 years old, though it can affect people at any age. For some reason, military veterans and athletes are more likely to be diagnosed with ALS, and no one yet knows why. Though there's no cure, that doesn't mean there's no hope. Technology, ranging from electric wheelchairs to computerized speech generators, allows patients to overcome limitations and live fuller lives. Researchers are working on finding a cure for ALS, funded by donations from programs such as the Ice Bucket Challenge and the Walk to Defeat ALS. An increased awareness of the disease has helped change public policy so ALS patients can more easily get the help that they need. If you want to help, or if you've been affected by ALS and need to get help, contact your local chapter of the ALS Association.